Hi there, John here from Small Fish. Complexity costs money. I'm encouraging you to avoid it at, not at all costs, as much as possible. And let me tell you what I mean, right? The more complicated things are, the more complicated the rules are, the more energy, emotional energy it takes for people to think about things, the more time it takes to sort things out. Time, of course, in a business owner's sense, is money, right? If, you, if your people are taking longer to do things because it's complicated, that's costing you money because you pay their wages. Okay? If your customers are taking longer to think things, they probably aren't making so many decisions. So you're costing yourself opportunity there. So I'm going to encourage you to avoid complexity. Okay? It's known in, in bigger business to be a cause of cost. And in smaller business, I think sometimes we allow it to creep in and we shouldn't, right? It takes a bit of discipline to avoid it. So I'm going to re relate this to a trade business, of course. Where does complexity creep in and where can you stop it? So it creeps in in your marketing, okay? If you try and be too many things to too many people or too many types of customer, that's complicated, right? You're starting to put a complicated message on your website. What do you do? Well, we do this for these people and that for those people and we do that for there and this for there. That's complicated, right? It's complicated to write on your website. It's complicated to say when you're talking to people and it's complicated for your customers to understand. So there's a cost, right? Believe me, there's a cost. There's a cost in the time it takes to write it in an intelligent way so it makes sense. And there's a cost in people coming to your website or your marketing and going, oh, I can't be bothered, okay? So avoid complexity. You can't be everything to everybody you need to be something reasonably specific to some certain types of people, right? And when your customers are looking at your marketing, what they're thinking is, are these the guys for me? Do they do what I want for people like me? And you need to tell them that quickly without complexity. The same in your sales. Is your pricing overly complex? And can you simplify it so it takes less time to produce your pricing quotes and so it's less difficult for your customers to understand, there's a bit of complexity. Is the way you manage jobs and you manage your people complex? Is the way you pay people complex? You know, salary is much cheap, much easier and simpler and less complex than people checking in and managing their hours and worrying about whether you've paid them enough hours and things like that. So there's an introduction of complexity you can avoid by just paying someone a salary. Okay, I want you to to think through your business and if you want to talk to me about it, of course you can. Right. In my coaching, I try and encourage people to reduce complexity, increase simplicity, avoid that cost and avoid that emotional and intellectual load on you. Right? You've got enough to do without sort of working your way through bullshit complexity. Avoid complexity, increase simplicity, make your life easier, make your customers' lives easier and make your staff's lives easier too. And of course, if you want help, I'm over here. Put yourself a 10 minute chat. We'll talk about how we can reduce the complexity in your business. See you later.